You're watching News Channel 6 at 10 and hundreds of athletes suit up for Texoma High Schools each and every year, many competing in multiple sports. Yeah, but only a few actually continue on their athletic careers to the next level in college. The rest have to learn to live life without sports. Only on 6, News Channel 6 Barry Wong examines that adjustment. In May of 2012, Tatiana Martinez competed as a Seymour Lady Panther for the last time. My last game was heartbreaking. Like, uh, I knew that was the last time I'd play anything, so it was definitely hard. She shares that sadness with several Texoma athletes each season. Athletes who put on the school uniform for the final time, a uniform that's defined them for most of their lives. I miss the relationship with the team with my teammates. I miss everybody rooting for you when you're down. I miss uh, playing the game. I miss competing with the other towns. It's just something that I always love to do. Tatiana is now a freshman at Vernon College, studying to be a nurse. She still lives in Seymour, still surrounded by that chapter of her life. My first basketball game was definitely hard to watch. I was watching them warm up, and I just couldn't help but let a few tears out. Iowa Park's John Dressler played his last Texoma High School game years ago, but he also shares in that sadness. And this is probably the, the best photo of, of all of Amber's softball that was taken. His daughter Amber wrapped up her softball career last May. She's now a freshman at the University of Texas. We had the pitching practice, the batting practice, and uh, everything I could do to help her get better. And we built up from there, and it went, and it built a bond between she and I that's inseparable. She's got her own little shrine. In many ways, the transition is much tougher for a parent, without another chapter like college to move up to. Now that I've got all this free time, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm literally lost. I'm walking around in the days and thinking, what am I going to do today? For Tatiana, John, and many others, they remain surrounded by the sports they're attached to. But what about the Texoma athletes that choose to leave the area and end up at places like here at TCU? <laughs> Former Berkman at Bulldog, Cannon Cornelius, is months away from wrapping up his sophomore year at TCU. Every kid in, while well, they're growing up wants to go on and play. And so the conversation that I had with my dad is why not look for the school and the academics that are going to fit you and then see if, you know, a sports works out. Academics worked out, athletics did not. <laughs> Cannon tried to walk on to the Horn Frogs baseball team, but failed to make that final roster of 35. Initially, I took it uh, pretty hard that I, you know, I wasn't going to run out on the uh, baseball diamond in the spring for the first time in 14 or 15 years. And, and then I started, you know, looking around TCU and realizing how many things there are to get involved in. That's now the challenge for Tatiana and John. There have been some quiet, lonely nights looking at pictures and softball and videos and video clips. It's been hard, but it hadn't been as hard as I really thought it would be. Coach Crawford gave all the seniors some. And it just reminds me of playing. I knew once I was done with high school sports that I was done for good because I really just want to get out there. I want to get my schoolwork done and I want to go on with my life. As they look to fill that time, fill that void. Barry Wong, News Channel 6 Sports. Now taking a look at the numbers, we know of 42 kids that have signed to play in college so far this school year. If you take away Ryder and Old High, that number actually drops to 18. The rest face the same challenges as Tatiana and Cannon. If you want to read more about Texoma's trio adjustments to life without sports, just head to newschannel6now.com.